heaven once upon a time in the majestic himalayan region there lived the lepcha people they were a peaceful community but their lives were filled with fear and sorrow because of a ruthless demon king named laso mungpunu laso mungpunu was known as the first child of fudong thing and the jonglu and his cruelty knew no bounds the lepcha people lived in constant terror as laso mungpunu would mercilessly kill anyone who crossed his path Fearing for their lives, many Lepcha families left their homes and fled to the safety of the valleys where they hid along the river banks. They traveled silently, avoiding the gaze of the demon king, until they finally reached a place called Dharmadeen in West Sikkim. In the Lepcha language, Dharmadeen means flooded lake. Dharmadeen was a beautiful land with fertile valleys and flowing streams that provided sustenance for the survivors. The Lepcha people settled down there and began cultivating the land, growing crops to sustain their growing population. As time passed, they gradually forgot the fear that had haunted them for so long, and they lived in peace. One day, however, the Lepcha people's peace was shattered by the looming threat of Laso Mungpunu discovering their settlement. The mere thought of the demon king finding them filled their hearts with terror. They knew they had to do something to protect themselves and seek the help of the gods. Gathering together, the Lepcha people devised a plan. They decided to build a ladder to heaven, believing that their gods resided in the celestial realms. This ladder would be their pathway to safety, away from the clutches of Laso Mungpunu. With determination in their hearts, the Lepcha people set out to construct the stairway to heaven. They knew they needed a strong foundation, so they flooded the nearby lake to create a vast expanse of flat land for their construction. Soon, all the potters in the land got busy. Some started shaping the clay into pots and others baked them to perfection. These pots would serve as the building blocks for the ladder to heaven. The skilled potters molded the clay with precision, while others gathered wood for the fires that would bake the pots and make them strong. With each pot ready, the Lepcha people began stacking them one on top of the other, forming a towering column that reached towards the sky. The construction required years of hard work and the combined efforts of every member of their community. Men, women, and even children contributed their labor, shaping the pots and carefully placing them in position. The ladder to heaven gradually rose higher and higher, surpassing the rooftops of their houses, the treetops, and eventually reaching the clouds. The Lepcha people felt a sense of pride and accomplishment as their stairway grew closer to their gods. However, the gods, in their infinite wisdom, saw the potential dangers that lay ahead. They knew that if the Lepcha people continued building the ladder at such a rapid pace, disaster would befall them. The gods decided to intervene and create an illusion to halt the construction. The gods infused the hearts of the Lepcha people with fear, specifically fear of Laso Mungpunu. They whispered haunting thoughts of the demon king's imminent arrival, instilling a sense of urgency and danger among the workers. As the construction neared completion, communication between the artisans at the top and the workers at the bottom began to break down. The man positioned at the highest point of the ladder desperately wanted to know how much further they had to climb. He requested a hooked stick to gauge the distance, calling out, Kok Wim Yang Ta, send up a hooked stick. Unfortunately, due to the pervasive fear and confusion, the message got distorted along the way. The workers at the bottom misheard the request, believing they were being told to bring it all crashing down. They heard Chek Ta smash it down instead of Kok Wim Yang Ta. Unaware of the misunderstanding, the workers at the bottom took up their axes and began striking the pots, smashing them to pieces. Chaos ensued as the stairway to heaven crumbled, causing the pots to cascade down upon each other and upon the men working on the structure. The once mighty ladder fell apart bit by bit, causing great destruction. The dream of meeting the gods in heaven shattered alongside it. 
the Lepcha people realized their mistake and named the place Tadaraundain, which translates to We Ourselves Smashed It Down in their language. To this day, the remnants of the broken pots can still be found, scattered as a reminder of the Lepcha people's ambitious but ill-fated endeavor. The story of the stairway to heaven serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of clear communication, unity, and understanding. Unbeknownst to the Lepcha people in Dharmadin, during the construction period, another Lepcha hero named Jorbong Thing emerged in a different region called Mayil Yang. Jorbong Thing bravely defeated Laso Mung Punu, but the news of this victory did not reach the Lepcha people in Dharmadin, consumed as they were by their own construction and fears. And that is the tale of the stairway to heaven, a story of bravery, miscommunication, and the consequences of unchecked ambition. It serves as a reminder to cherish unity, clear communication, and the wisdom to recognize when our aspirations may lead us astray. This story is combination of all articles, textbook stories, storytelling, and some online dictionary. Therefore, for some may find different, but this is what I came up to. To make such videos, it take lots of effort, time, energy. So please, if you are entertained, like and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for such story.